like I said, I'm still me because mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm just a different version of myself. Mm-hmm. Like one of my biggest films that uh I'm 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 I'm, work, I'm still working on is a TV series, a BT series called Sacrifice. I need to know why they're dead. My boss tells no one ever. Did. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. What's the first movie you've ever done? Is this the first movie? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. no. He, I okay. know you. You done. Yeah, I did a movie called Big Dog with JT the Bigger Figure. Every young nigga dream where I come from is to be the motherfucking big dog. Okay. JT the Bigger Figure. Yeah, man, that's the homie. He came that's to New Orleans home. and he was one of those ones. Like, this is my partner though, but he came now shooting a movie and he called me for a part and I'm like, what you doing? And he just coming in our project with other people. Right. And it's like, nah, nah, we, we don't do that. We don't do that. Nah, we could be partners. So let's let's right. link up and do something together. So right. he gave me a number. I gave it to him and we got it done. Oh, so that's we good. Just built the so brotherhood bigger that. figure respect to the move. Yeah, he had to. That's man, that's good. hard, man. I like it because you you step it up. But but it take heart to do what you're doing because some dudes would be you really like I ain't never act so you got to think about it. You you got heart to do that. You know what I'm saying? You you probably got more heart. Certain niggas in the hood probably some niggas hiding from that camera. When that camera <laughs> come, nigga, nah, I would be no. Put yeah, them cameras up. Yeah, that's a fact but, though. But you but know. you wrote this movie though. Yeah, I wrote it. Yeah, but the one this is your first movie you've written. Yeah, this is the first movie I've written. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how okay. I love The it, first man. one was a running gun. It's just like we just we just pulled up on every block, every project in the city. Like I expanded my reach. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it ain't too many people that could do what I could do in New Orleans that could go through every hood and tap right. in with every big dog. Right? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's that's a major. Uh Ace Man, I, I know you done been in several mm-hmm. films, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I started in two thousand eight. I started in 2008 on a uh, HBO series, Tremé. Mm. Okay. So I started on the second season playing as a rapper. So that was my first ever acting experience. I ain't never went to school for it, but I still never went to school. And so you didn't take no acting classes at all? Mm-mm. Hmm. So what helped me was music. Okay. So I played as a rapper, so I was like, I'm, I'm being myself. Yes, I can remember lines because I can remember lyrics. Mm-hmm. I could get into the, the mood because I could get into the mood when I hear an instrumental, then it pulls you into, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I, I put the two together. So when I film, I feel like I'm shooting a music video. Facts. So that's what helped me with music, so I could get into it. And then I, when, I, when I get around these big name actors and shit, and I, I see, okay, this person act like this on screen and off screen. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna just be myself. I'm gonna just be a different version of myself. But the difference is to me, when you do a music video, music videos are so short compared to a movie. Right. In a movie, you have to stay in that character for a much longer time than if you do in a- Well, not facts, but when it's, when it's film time, that's, not really a long time. Like you'll wait all day before you film. You just there, you know yeah, what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm still me because mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm just a different version of myself. Mm-hmm. Like one of my biggest films that uh I'm 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 I'm, work, I'm still working on is a TV series, a BT series called Sacrifice. I need to know why they're dead. My boss tells no one everything. Mm. So we just finished the second season. That's going to be coming out pretty soon. But uh, and I play as a hacker. So they wanted me to be from LA. Nerdy. Yeah, glasses, tech. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't nowhere near me, but I just, I got a professional side. So it's like, all right, I'm going to figure it out. Like, I'll be on there. You just want to type, hack, all this stuff. And then I had to hook up with a dialect coach. Because mm. when they first met me, I just I just was in my natural right. accent. Right. So they like, look, you, we need you to sound like you're from Cali. So I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Like, it don't matter how much I clear my words up, you're going to still hear it. And so people, so they made me like, all right, well, you from Louisiana then on the show. Oh. Because I tried. I went set with the dialect really? coach. And, and he- people saw it and it was like, you from Louisiana? I'm like, man, I tried hard, too. <laughs> <laughs> I tried hard. I'm- my boss tells no one ever did. I'm, I'm, I'm more thinking of my pronunciation of how I'm saying it than you gotta the whole thing. You got to keep trying. You got to keep trying because it blows my mind when I see some of these actors like Idris. Oh, and yeah. knowing that he's from England and... You know, I didn't even know all the time I've been yeah. watching his movies. Oh, yeah. I did not a know that till I heard him do the interview and I heard his natural dialect. I'm right. like, they, yeah, they're killing it. And Over watching there, the wire, you would have never knew the wire. You yeah. never knew he was that. Ain't no dude, ain't no dude from uh, BMF. Who that? Which one? The uh, the crazy one, Lamar. 
Oh really? Oh, yeah. You, you hear that bar talk? Yeah, he, he's oh, was, it's exactly a lot. There's a lot of them over I was there. trying. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, man. Wow, it's a lot. And I was like, why is it that a lot of English actors like they take over the whole like acting like Hollywood? Yeah. They take over a lot of movies because <sighs> right. you yeah, don't ever you don't ever yeah. notice till they're doing the interviews. Right. And you're like, how many of these actors are from? Or did they move over there yeah. after they get big? Yeah, right. old dude. Uh, from uh, Snowfall. Oh, all right, I know that for mm, sure. But I can't. I would. English is the most spoken language, so it's easier to learn that than us learning French. Like, but then actually, you speak English right now. You're from New Orleans. You should be able to still pick up the accent of California. Right, right. right. I, I don't think I try. It comes but y'all dialect fact. is so strong. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean. So, but I'm sure you just take do more practice. Yeah, yeah, that's no, what I, 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 I practice. That. I definitely practice. You know what I'm saying? When I'm on the show, like, I I, I, I go with it. You know what I'm saying? So, so let me ask y'all a question. Um, Soldier Slim, I always ask a lot of people this because, especially being from New Orleans, I know a lot of people who talk very highly of him. Um, you you knew him, of course. Yeah, I know him for sure. So for sure. tell me about him growing up and so forth. Slim used to cut my hair. Him and my cousin was best friends. My cousin, like, who he used to run under. His mm-hmm. name was Rez. They called him Slugged Up Nigga. Mm-hmm. So under KLC and on Parkway Pump and Records, that's who my cousin used to rap for. He was supposed to sign a Master P before so did Slim. He got mm-hmm. killed. So I know Slim, like, Slim had it since young, like, as young Magnolia Slim, mm-hmm. he was that dude with rapping and everything. Mm. Like, for sure, for sure. Wow. And for you? With Slim, man, Slim was always my, uh, that's my favorite rapper. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So What's your favorite up, song? Oh. Since he your favorite rapper. <laughs> you when you say favorite song? I don't know if I got a favorite, favorite song. One that stands out. Give me one. Well, I pay for it. You know okay. what I'm saying? There was just like okay. a gangster dude on some sw- on some swag shit. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So it's uh-huh. like, I right, bet. But he got class, and you know he was telling the truth. Like, mm-hmm. so it's always he always drew me to him. I like his rap style, and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But nah, Slim was legend. No, because a lot of people, because since we've been going back and forth to New Orleans, a lot of people always talk about him and talk about him very highly. But I've met some people who say that, you know, it's just now that he's gone, everybody's talking so good about him. But when he was around. People wasn't really just, you know, dealing with him like that. Nah, that's mm-hmm. cap. That's, that's cap. cap. Like, one thing for sure, Slim. Slim was love. Like, Slim pull up in that Cali, you and be yeah. out there all day, and he a leader and going to St. Bernard and going to Opera Field. Yeah. Like, he was one of the ones that could go in every project, too. And I tell everybody, like, Slim got killed before he could, he was going through that transition mm-hmm. and make that change. I heard that. Like, he said in one of his songs, um, I'm coming closer with God, asking him to forgive me. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. We, he died in the middle, like them X pills hit New Orleans and it went crazy. It took the scariest person on there and made him real mm-hmm. on drugs. And you ride around in that slim and you on some right. X pills, you out your mind. You mm-hmm. might shoot up a whole crowd. Mm-hmm. And that ain't what Slim was rapping right. about. It was, it was murder with a purpose. Like, it was always get the money first. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.